I'm on a tangent. One day you're on the uh, side of the road, you're in Blenheim. You are clearly the oldest person on the side of the road anywhere in New Zealand. You are trying to hitchhike. Optimistically, you think this will be a piece of cake. No problem. I'll be able to hitchhike. No sweat. The hours pass. From. From. People come and go, but you don't. People, they just whiz past and you stay still. So, up through the gears go the middle classes, you think. Up through the gears. Up through the gears. Up through the gears go the middle classes. Now, there's no tradesman, no tradesman Nazi, no tradesman Nazi in a ute ever, ever stops. No tradesman Nazi in a ute ever stops for the hitchhiker. They, they are the new nouveau. They have the money, the arrogance to forget their roots. To forget their roots. Now, it's one thing not to expect a lift from the scared middle classes or the elderly peering over their steering wheels, but it's the climate of fear that gets me. Everybody's afraid. Everybody is afraid, afraid of each other, afraid of getting left behind, afraid of having less gadgets and widgets than their neighbours. They're afraid because it's a funny old world. They're afraid because it's a funny old world and it just takes something as small and grounding as hitchhiking to realise, to realise how sad and fearful and insular a nation I repeat that, how sad and fearful and insular a nation we have become. It's a startled look. It's a startled look of fear. It's a startled look of fear and apprehension that obviously fills their faces. And the Jewish tourist up the road, he has a better chance of both of us. So I just let him go. I say, you go first. It's okay. Visitors, please. You go first, I say. His presence, vaguely troubling. Anyway, he's got Raphaelite curls, but he's got a one-year basic military training under his belt, and obviously a desire to dodge, dodge city. Get the fuck, get the fuck, get the fuck as far away from Palestinian rockets as he could find and come to good old God's own. God's own. Now, it's a tourism. No new car ever picks up the hitchhiker, no Prada, no Pajero, no big horn, nothing with uh, those uh, scared people driving in their inexecrably upwards house values. It's all that life means to them. It's all that life means to them and none of them will make eye contact, you know that. Not one of them will make eye contact and some, some are openly derisive and some of them are derogatory and anyway, no ute, no SUV will pick up that hitchhiker. Nothing with a trailer or a boat, nothing with a body kit or a spoiler or a whale tail. Nothing with a teenage boy racer horror. Nobody's got the spark of youth anymore. Nobody's got the spark of youth anymore. Anyway, this property boom has become too serious, too life-changing and I know I know it's a rags to riches and I know these stories abound. I know that there's people who've been fortunate enough to buy things at the trough and are fortunate enough to sell off at the peak, at the peak, at the peak of the bubble and make a bundle. Peak of the bubble and make a bundle. Peak. It's the peak of the bubble and right now you can make a bundle. Anyway, I've heard the story a million times before now and it's always the get rich schemers and anyway up through the gears up through the gears up through the gears go the middle classes <laughs>